Good morning, good morning, good morning. Look like it's gonna be a clear day here in Southern Cali. Temperature should reach up around 115 and feel like 130. I'll turn that off, Doug. What's that shit? I hope that's funny. Yeah, he said 115. I don't think he knows what he's talking about, Doug. That can't be right. Reaching 130, he's crazy. Yeah, that's what that's out. Yeah, he didn't know what he's talking about, Russ. Yeah, I can tell that right off just the way he said good morning there. Truck and Duck Show, people. Hello. Subs, viewers. And I'm uh, driving, uh, driving on my profile where I don't have much money. So I've got the same truck. And uh, steering wheel update is messed it up so I can't get my steering wheel down right now. I'm going to have to work on that. It won't adjust down. I could stick my head through the roof and look down and see the tack and everything, maybe. I oh, nah, Doug, shut up. But anyway, the 500 horsepower, W900, Daycal, 14 tons of crushed cardboard boxes, and a 53 foot long trailer. Driving with a G27 and going to get her done. That's right, we always do, Russ. Yeah, I tell you what, we always do. You know how we do. What's that guy doing? Well, hell, I don't know where that guy's going to. Watch that stuff over here on the right. I don't know what that stuff is on the right. It looks like maybe silos or something. Something to do with the farming or something. I don't know what it is, though. Well, I thought you knew everything. No, I thought you knew everything. I see a big bus in the mirror there. Well, damn it, it's just bad my bus is not bad to you. It's not bad when buses are passing. Nah, he's driving plenty fast enough for our dog. He's driving plenty fast enough. That's fast we need to go there, Rusty. That's what I thought, Ralph. Premier Transport VTC trailer right there, folks. I'm still hauling for those guys every now and then. Having fun over there working with the telemetry and and all that stuff and logging a few loads and I'd like to get up in the top drivers but I've got some work to do some other friends I think has already got there I'm going to have to drive more well all this news duck uh, on sitting around so much all this news and stuff and all these hearings and Politics and all this stuff I like to watch has got me distracted. Well, we don't have that much. We don't have that too good to think there of a channel. I gotta take care of the channel. No, I don't get to that now. I watch the thing. Well, I should be able to watch a little bit of TV. Not that much. What do you mean, who cares who wins? I do. Well, I don't worry about it. Why not worry about it? Well, you can't change nothing. Well, I know I can't change nothing. Nah, I ain't even going to vote for us, do you? Nah, it ain't nobody worth voting for right for us. I'm just going to go up to Creek Fish or Rusty. Whatever, Ralph, it don't make no difference if you don't vote for one, you're voting for the other, so don't do uh do whatever you want there, Ralph. 
Hey, that's what I usually do, Rusty. Whatever the hell I want. Wonder what's the matter this nut. Get out of the road. That don't make no hell that member, Rusty. Boy, that's strange for you to tell me not to be yelling at people. Well, don't make no hell that member, Rusty. That's not right. You're a pain sometime, Duck. Yeah, I know it. You can see on the navigator there was 14 down a cardboard heading left uh, Oakdale heading to uh, Eureka. Oh, that's a hell of a name for town, don't you think, Rossi? I've seen some words I know telling them for hell for certain. Nah, I wouldn't want to live there. Hey, did you know there's a Hollywood in California and uh, Florida? Nah, I didn't know that, Rusty. Boy, I found out, uh, talking Morse code on the CB and hooked up with Hollywood, Florida one time, looked it up on the map. Well, I'll be damn, Rusty. Oh, really? I'll be damn. Uh, you, don't, you know I don't like when people say, oh, really, damn. Now, why not, Rusty? Why not, Rusty? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was you doing, Rusty? I looked down the floor a minute, Doug. Well, you're almost, you're almost done this year. I almost done you in. Oh, well, yeah. I know it's a couple of years in my life, right there. You lost a couple of years of your life. No, I don't need a nice bridge. Yeah, it is a nice bridge. Would you like me down there in that water? Yeah, that's where I think you mean. And well, what do you think about the bridge? I don't think... I don't think we have to jump off the bridge. Nah, I ain't gonna do nothing stupid like that, Rusty. It's gonna tell on you. 
Just lyrics, folks, from Hank Williams, Sr. You were cheating hard many, 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 many moons ago. Now, how do you know nobody wants to see or hear that? <laughs> I know you didn't want to. Why wouldn't you want to ride with me? <laughs> Tardy, what do you want to do? I don't know, baby. I'll ride with Tyro. I'll tell you what. You better just stick with me, Doug. Oh, Wobbly, he's still out and about. Yeah, I've seen Wobbly lately. Last time I saw him, I think he was fishing. On a, on a, on a boat. On one of them blow-up boats fishing. Now, you never should go fishing with hooks in a blow-up boat. Just don't make sense. Well, he might, he might bust your boat. Nah, I don't know, Rusty. I saw that thing a wobbly fish and had somebody else drive me boat. They just standing up there casting and casting, going on, struggling and fighting and pulling in fish. You never seen a bit of straining and going on. Get it out of the water and it weighed seven point something ounces. And I, I just sat back there at the house and laughed. I reached up in the crack in the rock and pulled one out bigger than that with my arm. I think last one I got out of the wall doing that, it it about half as big as my leg. Ah, uh, bull, Ralph, you ain't never went, went whatever they call that for fish, you reaching up in them corners and stuff. Now, nah, how would you know that, Rusty? Well, I don't. Well, I say there I did. <laughs> you proved your case, huh? Can't be broken, Rusty. I told you, there's not nothing. He's not guilty. No. Well, I think the dog got you right there, I think my lights are on, though. I don't know the dog. I can't help it. Wonder what that fellow was all in. I don't know what I do, but not. Right there, I know what he's hauling. What is that? Duck spray to kill the ducks. No, I can't do it. I can't do it like that. Could be. Don't. Don't. I want to ride that bus. You like to ride that bus? Yep, there's a bus there with him. Yeah, they got a bathroom in them. Yeah, I remember one time you thought the truck had a bathroom. Yeah, I did. I didn't know that was the worst chance. You didn't know it was the worst chance? Yeah. You found out though, right? Yeah, I thought I was. I thought Well, we're passing them all up, ain't we? We're doing a little speeding here. Not too fast, fellas. Now everybody says, I drive away too fast. We ain't too much over speed, man. Well, I love your mouth. Yeah, I take me a fishing pole on that election day, and I'm going up that creek. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take me a case of beer. Hey, you got to have a case of beer and a fishing pole. And if you got a case of beer, you need to also take a life jacket. <laughs> Just in case, you know, you might tumble over the edge or something. <laughs> Still thinking about that, Ralph? Mm, yeah, I can't get my mind off fishing now. Well, I'm a better fisher than that, you are. Well, we know you're a better fisher, Doug. You can catch one anytime you want to. I'm not. Let's drive.
real nice sunset there, people looking good. Hello, Paul, that watches me all the time, and Graham, and Rickard, and, and the normal people. A lot of people that watches my stuff all the time, and checks on me. I'll try to get more videos out, I can do it. Just gotta, just gotta get in here and get her done. Yeah, I know I needed to fess up, though. Might have told this fool once I went fishing down in the pier in Florida and my brother-in-law. <coughs> I went and bought me a eight foot rod and reel with a 40 pound death line ocean pole. He went and bought the bait. He opened the cooler with the bait and there's like 12 inch uh, manners in there. They call them cigar manners. I said, hell, that's the biggest of stuff we catch back home right there. And I uh, had to have sinkers weigh about a half a pound. And we went out on the pier right amongst uh, 50 other people fishing. I don't see how they keep them tangling their lines up. And my caster out there, and I was kind of hoping, I, you know, I got a little breathing problems. and I was kind of hoping I didn't hook in nothing big and and I have to surrender my pole and get help and stuff. But um, but I caught catfish, ocean catfish, mostly, and they were they wasn't too huge. And I seen people sitting with five fish hooks on the line and just drop it straight down and they sit there a minute and pull up five fish. And they're just putting them in the cooler, go sell them in them stores down there, I guess, and them fresh, fit, fresh fish markets. But, man, it's sad to sit on one of them piers and watch them experts fish. But I was kind of hoping I didn't hook into a monster because I didn't want to didn't want to have to bring out the, the rescue squad and try to revive me or nothing fighting with it. I thought we was going to Tesla's. Probably not, huh? Don't holler at people, though. Going to Walmart. Yeah, we here now. There we go. How you gonna get in there, Rusty? Don't know you, real. Better start turning in there, uh, You don't know what you're talking about, Ralph. Right? I probably mess up terrible bad like I usually do. Yes, I'm so sorry. Got a lot of faith in me, ain't you, Doug? 
I didn't think so. It's been a fun trip with you, though. <laughs> How are we lined up here? No, nah, well, I don't know, Rusty. Looks like you missed it by about a half a mile. That's the way driving goes, fellas. Come on back, Rusty. I can see it over here now. Come on back. I can see it now. I think we about got her, fellas. I don't know, Rusty. I don't know. Professional swift driver right here. I shouldn't have said that. That's not nice. Everybody else does. Oh, I would have a turn at it, I guess. Mm, yeah, I guess, but uh, that's not right, though, Rusty. Every driver has to start somewhere. Thanks, people, for watching, and thanks for staying with my channel and getting new subscribers. I appreciate it all. Makes me feel pretty good to have people chat with me in the comments and stuff. Thanks a lot. Truck and Duck Show. We're out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs>